Afternoon, everyone. We're back out in the shop. Today, we're going to be building what they call an exact width dado router jig. Um, I built mine pretty big. Most of the dados that I'll be doing will be anywhere from 12 to 35 inches, somewhere in that neighborhood. Anyway, uh, pretty simple. Um, I know that there's been a lot of these done. This is just my version of it. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing special. If you're into woodworking and you're going to do any kind of dados or rabbits, this also works with rabbits. You can get it done. I prefer to use the tools that come with the router as far as on the edge, as far as the guide, what not to get rabbits done. Or if you have hand plane rabbits, those are also very well. We're working with plywood. That's what that's for. Hardwood, I would use my uh, dado rabbit or rabbit planes and everything else for that. So anyway, let's get in the shop and we'll get going on this and I'll show you how it's done. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. See you there. Okay, let's get these things cut down. I'm going to keep mine about 40 inches long. That's where I want my length to be in case I'm doing wider panels than what I have here. Knock the fuzzies off of each one of these so they sit flush up against each other. We don't have any discrepancies when we cut these. This is something I did to the bigger ones. I have sanding blocks around here somewhere, but I just decided to grab a quick piece of sandpaper and knock these down. We're going to cut these to the same 40 inches. Okay, we're going to get these runners laid out on top of these guides. I'm actually getting lucky on this Bosch palm router that I have here in my hand. It's a, it's a little Bosch Colt. It's one horsepower. Um, excellent little palm router. Love it to death. Use it a lot in my shop. A lot more than I thought I would. What is happening for me on here is from this side of this base plate to the very edge of this bit on both sides is actually 1 and 11 sixteenths on this router. So I'm getting lucky. What I'm actually doing is I'm taking 
one and eleven sixteenths here. Take a little bit off of this and instead of making it just exact because you want to make sure that this is going to be straight with your guide. So you make that cut with your router bit once you get this installed. I'm adding about a sixteenth to this measurement just to guarantee that I cut this flush off all the way down against this guide rail here for this jig. Okay. So I'm gonna get so I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna put my mark in here at the measurement that I have for mine. I'm actually gonna even drop it in the center just to make sure that this board is gonna be straight all the way down. Just a little something I'm doing, not necessary for anybody else to do it unless you want to. Because I'm getting lucky on this, I'm actually gonna go up the other side as well on this other board because it's equal spaced for me on my little Bosch router. So I'm gonna get these done. Okay. okay. Let me get started on this glue up here. gonna run my glue kind of a zigzag pattern right down the center of my rail. I don't really want to get a whole lot of squeeze out on this. I'm going to a little bit. Got a couple of bare spots here. I'm just trying not to have an excess of glue Okay, and I think that's good. All right, I'm gonna take this, turn this over, line it up on my lines, get it close. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of wiggle here so I can get these into place. Know that I've got them right. Okay, we're good, we're set where we need to be. Just gonna hit it real quick. Okay, we're gonna get this knocked out pretty quick. Get my hammer. Got our hold fast clamps here. Should be good. Good there.
now. We're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of wood glue down in here, spread it out with a, one of our paddles, and uh, get this thing put in here. Okay, we've got our panels marked out for our T-Track in each corner. Uh, they are basically 1 and 3 sixteenths in from the end and 1 and 3 sixteenths in from the edge. So that's going to center my hole right in the center of my track off of the boards that I have here. We're gonna cut these, uh, it's quarter 20 bolts. Okay, quarter 20 T-Track bolts. Uh, we're before. going to make this a quarter inch hole. It'll be snug. It should be snug in here, allows it to slide through here. Uh, I don't wanna have it have a lot of slop or play. So we're gonna get onto that. We are good there. Get this glued up. And that should be good. Right, we are looking good. I believe I'm gonna go ahead and use four of the inch and five eighths sheetrock type screws. They are what I have. Uh, you guys out there, guys and gals, you can do whatever you like. I just want that to go below the line and be flush. Got that locked down, we're good. Okay. And we are good. <coughs> so that is complete. We now have the dado infinite exact width dado jig completed. So now we just take and put a board in there whatever width board, and everybody has showed you this, that you've, uh, if you've watched any of these videos, they've all showed you the same thing. Pretty much get it in here. Lock it down. Pull your board out, run your router down one side and back up the other, clean it out. If it's wide enough that you need to make a couple more passes, and uh, get that done, then you have your dado for that. Okay, everybody, that's pretty much going to wrap it up today for the exact width dado router jig. Uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy these kind of videos, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell for a notification when another video comes out. Uh, like I said before, we're coming back. We're actually trying to get on a once a week posting of our content to make sure that we're uh, being out there for our viewers and new subscribers. Uh, if you like, leave a comment. We'd love to see that. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. That'd be awesome. Um, and again, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you liked it or not. Other stuff you'd like to see us do, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, everybody take care. Be kind to one another. And we'll look forward to seeing you again. Bye.